Hi everybody, this is Emily with the NetZoom team, here to talk to you about planning the future of your data center using what-if analysis. NetZoom understands that data center managers are always looking to the future as well as the present. Growing your data center presents unique challenges, and you must ensure that you have the proper capacity and resources to accept new devices into your data center. To help you properly prepare for expansions to your data center, NetZoom offers the Unplanned Devices feature. This feature allows users to add additional racks and devices to your data center without making those devices physically live. These devices will participate in special what-if analysis and give you a sense of how your data center's capacity will change after these devices are added. First, let's log into NetZoom. Enter your NetZoom application server URL in the web browser. Then enter your username and password. Now, let's navigate to the Unplanned Devices feature. This feature is found under the Change Management tab in the Data Center menu. As you can see, this feature displays data center infrastructure in a tree view. If we click the Devices quick action, we'll get a search window, much like the window we use to search the device library or our inventory for devices to add to the data center. By using this quick action, we can search for racks and other devices to add to our data center from our configured models or smart builds. We'll go over how to set up configured models and smart builds in another video. But for now, let's just search our smart builds for a rack we would like to add. Using this quick action, we can search for racks or other devices to add to our data center from our configured models or smart builds. We'll search our smart build store for now. This search menu uses the same controls that you would use when searching NetZoom's device library. You can search by keyword or by manufacturer specifications. But since our smart build store only has a few racks on it, we'll just draw from there. Let's use this rack as an example. We're going to click and drag the rack we want to the appropriate location. In this case, we'll add it to zone A. The add unplanned devices form will pop up. Notice the start and end date. This will determine how long your device will stay in this unplanned devices feature for use in impact analysis. Also, notice the quantity. Whether you're adding one rack or a hundred, you will be able to see how your capacity will handle the additional devices. We'll add 25 instances of this rack to simulate a major addition to our data center. Click the Save button, and as you can see, these racks, 25 of them, have been added to Zone A. Now that we've added our new devices, we'll select the location we added them to and see how they affect our capacity. Click the Analytics Quick Action. This quick action features charts and graphs that break down how much free power, heat, and space capacity we have. If we inc check Include Unplanned, we can see how this will change our overall capacity. We can even select a plan from our drop-down list and include the changes from that plan in our analysis. Once we are finished analyzing the data, we can delete the devices that we've added by right-clicking on those devices and clicking the Delete button. Pop-up will confirm if you want to delete them, and by clicking yes, you'll remove them from the unplanned devices feature. That covers the basics of using NetZoom's unplanned devices to participate in what-if analysis. But remember, the unplanned devices feature is a powerful tool, and we've only scratched the surface of what it can do. Please check out our other videos for more information on how to use the NetZoom product. And if you're interested in trying out NetZoom for your own data center, visit NetZoom.com to schedule a free demo.